Good morning, and welcome to Lesson 2, Video 6. Today my co-teacher is going to be Basement Cat. <laughs> this, uh, I mean, let's get the preliminaries out of the way. Today's lesson is only going to make sense if you're looking at the latest free copy of the first set of lesson texts. Um, get your hands on that latest copy by using the second link right below this video. If you don't see any links below this video, you're on the wrong page. That's an, e that's an easy fix. Look at the bottom right hand corner of your video. It should be right around here. There should be a YouTube symbol. Give that a click or two. And that'll take you to the YouTube dedicated page. Um, below the video, it should, you should see two links. If you only see one link, click the Show More button, and you'll see a whole bunch of links. The second link will take you to the page entitled um, Class Materials, First Quarter Class Materials. There's a bunch of stuff you have to buy on there, like uh, blankets or uh, malas, which are also known as Buddhist rosaries. But there's a bunch of free stuff, too. There's a free essay, there's a free image, something like this one. And um, there's also the link for the free, to download the free text. So take advantage of that. Okay. <laughs> yes, you're very vocal today. So, I'm going to let you down now, okay? Go play. Okay, <laughs> it's not actually my cat, it's the neighbor's cat. The neighbor cat has worked diligently to tame and adopt me over the last four years. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with today's lesson. Today's lesson begins on page 14. You know it's page 14, or that we're on the same page, because the first line at the very top reads, He is brilliant, white, and radiates the six lights of, and that's the first line. Today we're going to explore uh, the first half of the first line of the first quatrain on page 14. Now this is part of the Passive Visualization series. If you don't know what I mean by Passive Visualization, it's simply because this you haven't watched the previous videos. Folks, this is video 6 from the less, second set, second lesson set of videos. You simply must watch the first video from the first lesson set of videos. Start at the beginning and work your way up. Now you've, you've missed about 30 to 40 videos, so it's not going to make any sense. Do yourself a favor, start at the beginning. Let's see, this cat one, this cat one so do, do bear with me. Okay, basement cat, you be good. You be good. Out you go, little boy. Famous person once said, a cat is a four-legged creature forever on the wrong side of a closed door. And I think they may be right. So he is referring to the Buddha of compassion. There's a line drawing of him found on the previous page. It, that's just an artist rendering. It's just iconography. It's, it's just relevant in terms of iconography. Um, we aren't fundamentalists in this tradition. We're, we're liberals. So we, let, we take this with a pinch of salt or a grain of salt. So when it says he is brilliant and brilliant white, that isn't a whole um, white supremacist sort of thing. After all, this phrase was first, first penned in Sanskrit in North India. Um, not a whole lot of white supremacism there. And they didn't say, you know, beige. They said white, which is typically not cons which is considered, you know, albinoism is considered, meh, not to be the peak of health. So why is he called white? Why is he brilliant in white? One of my teachers... Dilgo uh, Kitsay Rinpoche, the late teacher of the 14th Dalai Lama, uh, used to say that he imagined that he's as brilliant as the dazzling sh morning sun reflected off of a 
thousand snowy mountain peaks. Pretty dazzling. So we use that as a metaphor for purity. Now remember we've said in previous lessons that we find the idea that the Buddha of Compassion was not born a Buddha to be very empowering. What that means is he was just as flawed as me and you. But he found a way to become something much more than what he was. So then what is the key to purification? Karmic purification. Is it found in offerings? Is it found in mantras? A fundamentalist would say, but of course. But as a liberal, I tell you, the, the, the real key to karma purification is what you do with your mind. As you re will recall from the first set of lesson texts, the practice, the homework text, was divided into two parts. The first part was Lom Rim's uh, intellectual path. And the second part was Chok Chen's mystic path. Both the contemplations of renunciation, compassion, love, I'm sorry, wisdom and love, as well as the technical meditations on channels, winds, drops, and bliss, as well as the nature of awareness itself. These two categories of techniques, those are what purify us. In a nutshell, if in the midst of whatever gurk is manifesting in your life, you can center your energy, convert that garbage into compassion, and then deconstruct it through the wisdom of letting go, that is the most efficient form of karmic purification. You've already learned verbal techniques to deconstruct, um, to, use, to use wisdom to deconstruct the garbage in our lives in a previous lesson, lesson one, the lesson one set of videos. And in towards the later portion of this set of videos, the lesson two set of videos, you're going to learn silent techniques to do the exact same thing you learned in the lesson one series. In the lesson three series, you're going to learn some profound verbal and silent techniques to convert anger into compassion, to convert fear into compa compassion, and to convert joy into compassion. Just as the alchemists of old strive to, to transform lead into gold. Using Buddhist techniques, we can take whatever life throws at us and use it to increase our compassion and our wisdom, which is pretty darn cool. So, the first half of the first line of the first quadrant on page 14 is all about what makes Chen Rizik special. He's so mastered the techniques of love and letting go that it's, it's made him radiant. We can do that. You know, in, in a retreat setting, we can master the techniques of love and letting go to that degree in 14 days. Um, if you're busy, you got family and you got a job, then just come to a weekly webinar. If you do, if you come to a class every week, do your homework every day, there's no reason why you shouldn't master the complete path in a year, which is a pretty easy deal to do. So before I let you go, I'm going to check real quick how about how long this video is, nine minutes. I've bent your ear long enough for today. I want to thank you for your time and your attention. I want to thank you for using one of the links below the video to make donations. That's how I um, afford webinars, and that's how I eat, quite frankly. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Om tade te tade tu de soha. Before I let you go, I want to remind you to click the subscribe button in the upper left-hand corner. Then scrub your cursor, and three little windows should appear. Check the bottom one, and you'll receive an email notification every time I upload another video, which is quite cool. I told you there were two links below this video. The first one 
so that you can register and reserve, reserve your class at the next series of weekly webinars. When does that begin? Friday, the 2nd of November. I'll see you there. Goodbye.